Hey, everybody. Everybody. Oh, go. Yeah, go. Let's take. Go. Sweet. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I was just got me in your Hey, everybody. <laughs> uh, Steve Kazee from Once Here. I play the guy. I am Steve Kazee. I play the guy. Just kidding. I'm Kristen Liotti. I play the girl. And uh, we are here today to answer some of your questions. Ooh. Um, Steve, I'm going to read the first one for you. This is from Naomi. What is one thing that you wish you only had to do once in your life? I, that's a tough question. I don't know. Uh, go to the dentist? I mean, I like going to the dentist, but I guess if I, you, maybe if I could only go once and then have that be the only time I ever needed to go, then yeah, I guess. It's a terrible answer, but there you go. Thanks, Naomi. Naomi. <laughs> uh, okay, Kristen, this is from Danielle. Do you have a favorite pre-show snack? Um, yes, I do. Have a, I go... And I get a burrito at um, this place called Blossom. And it's, <laughs> it's gluten-free and dairy-free because <laughs> I'm on a diet of, that's gluten-free and dairy-free. Awesome. So <laughs> that's very exciting. <laughs> Go ahead, Steve. Sounds delicious. I mean, Kristen, this is from Lee. Mm -hmm. If you could be on any TV show, what would it be and why? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I would say right now, probably True Blood. Uh, that's my favorite show, but I, I'd be a werewolf on that show. Um, I just I just dig the whole vibe of that show, the campiness of it. But if I was going a more like realistic route, uh, I would have to say maybe Homeland, uh, which has been like one of my new favorite shows. I burned through it in 12 hours. So yeah, mm. Homeland. Or there's like a thousand, but those are the top two. All right, from Nikki. Oh, you're gonna love this one. Okay. What do you think are the names of the guy and the girl? I will never, ever even let my brain go there. Yeah. It's gone there once in tech because someone made a, um, a joke like that we we're on the beach and someone's like, oh, by the way, what's your name? And I, my brain like <laughs> malfunctioned and short circuited and I can't ever, I won't even let it like begin to think about it. Yeah, I'm the same way. Yeah. Um, Steve, mm -hmm. <laughs> from Cami. Okay. What was your strangest pre-show encounter with one of the patrons on stage? Um, probably the lady who just walked up to me and kept going, Ashland, Kentucky! <laughs> Ashland, Kentucky! Ashland, Kentucky! Over and over and over again. And I just kept going, Dublin! Dublin! Uh, so that's probably the weirdest, but uh, it, there's some pretty weird moments up there. I like the lady who brought the spoons. No, oh, yeah, there was a woman who brought spoons, played spoons for a while. I yep. wasn't out there for that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's get down to this. This is from Jody. I want to know this answer, Hi, too. Hi, Jody. <laughs> You get to kiss Leonardo DiCaprio on your new film, The Wolf of Wall Street. What other star would you like to kiss? God. God? Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know. You know what? I would not, I wouldn't say no to uh, Javier Bardem. I know that's a random choice, but I- probably I probably wouldn't either. God, he's such a good actor. And he's, he's like, so like, he's like real tough right. looking. Right. Um, yeah, I would, I'd be cool with that. Nice. I mean, and I wouldn't like turn Brad Pitt down. I would. I have. <laughs> Steve, this is from Claudia. <laughs> you grew up stage dooring shows. <laughs> True. What is your favorite memory of doing that, and what's the craziest stage door experience you've had on the other side of the barrier? Um, let's see. Um, uh, crazy experience I ever had stage dooring was probably um, King and I with Lou Diamond Phillips. <laughs> Oh, this is a tag. I can't believe I'm going to tell this on myself. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Young Guns. Always was, always will be. Pals, man. That's all I'm saying. Pals. And uh, when I went to see The King and I, I could have cared less about The King and I. I was there only to see Chavez y Chavez. Uh, and uh, when he came out in the stage door, I was just completely the worst starstruck I've ever been in my life. I couldn't even speak. Uh, and he just sort of blew me off. And, uh, but I got a great, sort of great picture of me sort of in the picture with him looking the other direction. So uh, that's probably the weirdest one I ever had. But for me, at our stage door, uh, just a few minutes ago actually, I was basically molested by a 45-year-old woman who ran her hand on my back and took a full handful of my derriere. It was, uh, it was quite uncomfortable. So that's well. going to be right up there at the top. So, <laughs> moving on. <clears throat> yeah. From Tracy. If you could play any role of the opposite gender, what would it be? Ooh. <laughs> I almost answered with a female role. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> even thinking. Um, maybe George and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. That's a good call. I think. Um, and also, 
I'm not really interested in in like Hamlet or anything. Right. <laughs> As if you ask me. <laughs> Listen, I'm not interested in Hamlet, but um, I was planning I will. on putting it in production. <laughs> okay, well that's good. Yeah, probably that or um or like the MC in Cabaret. Oh, that's a good call. That was a lady Some, once. Well, and somebody was just actually talking about doing that revival with a female Cabaret, a uh, female uh, uh, MC. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Let's make it happen. You heard that, producers of Broadway. Hey. Steve, this is from Winter. Okay. The season. Just okay. kidding. Winter, the person. Can you describe once using Ermagerd? <laughs> <laughs> Ermagerd, this is the best germ ever. All right. Yeah, I'd probably be the way I'd go with it. Um, from Joe, uh, what's your favorite memory from working on 30 Rock? My, f Joe, my favorite memory from working on 30 Rock, um, can I share two favorite memories? Sure, yeah. The first me f favorite memory was um, when we were shooting outside and they put Tina, Faye, and I in a warming tent and we just were sitting alone in this warming tent um, sharing a bag of pretzels quietly. <laughs> and it was like a really, I, I, I was like, yeah, I'm living the dream. <laughs> and like I, but I was like sitting there with my idol just quietly sharing a bag of pretzels. Um, and then the second one was probably when I was jumping up on the trampoline and then Alec Baldwin was like, yo, stop, stop, stop. I mean, he didn't say it like that. Right. But he was like, can we, can I get on there with her? And then we just jumped up and down on the trampoline for like what seemed like forever. And that was, that was really, Amazing. that was really good. Tons of good memories. This is a tough one. Okay. This is from Robert. Okay. <laughs> Your once performance gets skewered in Forbidden Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> what if I was like, by Ben Brantley? <laughs> that would be a terrible question. Your once performance gets skewered in Forbidden Broadway as being over the top emotional. What's your response to that? That's baloney. <laughs> I'm not over the top emotional in any way. No, um, I would say that uh, I, I, since I was a kid, um, I have loved the whole like Forbidden Broadway soundtrack things. Um, so I thought it was actually a really big honor. And when I heard that he was doing a good job, I actually uh, tweeted at the guy. Um, we tweeted back and forth a little bit um, at Steve Pizzi. Um And uh, we, uh, I can't wait to see it, actually. Um, I, I think those things, I think making Forbidden Broadway is actually a huge highlight for your career because you will forever be sort of like enshrined in that sort of lampoon. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and nice I try. On the street. Yeah. Um, from Elise, have you ever accidentally slipped into your Czech accent in your everyday life? No, but I almost used it recently because I saw um, a man who was in like a, like had a full beard and a gown on the street and I wanted to take his picture so I could send it to my friends Betty and Ryder and, <laughs> and Alicia and instead and I was like, how can I ask him for this picture? And so I went up and I was gonna be like, hi, I'm from the Czech Republic. Can I take a picture of you in your gown? <laughs> and then I was like, what if he, like, what if he says something that makes me panic and then I go into American or like, I don't know, what if he's like, from once? <laughs> I don't know, not that he would, but, <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, I'm, yeah, so I didn't, no. <laughs> the answer is no. I just like combusted, <laughs> no. That was amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is from Aaron. Okay. I'm from Kentucky just like you. What tips do you have for an actor in a small town? Get out of the small town. Uh, that's my best tip. Um, but uh, I would say just you've got to go somewhere where there are arts, where there's an art community. So if you have uh, an arts community in your hometown, that's great. Uh, I didn't really have one when I was growing up. Um, there is one now, which is really nice. but. Um, you know, you just got to get out and do it. And there's two places to really do it. In New York, there's LA, there's also Chicago, Atlanta, those places. But if you really want to do it, you just got to make your way to New York and, and LA and, and try your best. Uh, from Louise, who was the last person you asked for an autograph? Um, Louise, the last person I asked for an autograph was John Waters when I was 10 years old. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. we can't, is there a backstory to that? It's not like, you can't just say <laughs> no, like, I was 10 years old and hanging out with John Waters. Um, my dad let me see a lot of inappropriate films growing up. Um, and I think the movie Pecker <laughs> had just come out. And we read in the paper that John Waters was gonna be at our video store in Philadelphia, like the big video store in Philadelphia. And so my dad drove me and I was wearing um, a bowling shirt that I had found at the Goodwill. And um, then I met him, and he wrote me a really sweet message mm. on his on his eight by ten, and I had it on my bedroom wall for years. Nice. Yeah. This is from Joseph. Okay. 
Have you ever considered growing a large beard like Paul Witte's? Uh, yeah, actually I grew um, in between uh, the Cambridge workshop and New York Theater workshop. I actually grew a big bushy beard and then just shaved out this part of it. So I had like these massive like chops down the side. And I kept that for the whole summer and then, um, and then shaved it like right when I got to New York before we started rehearsal. So yeah, I like growing facial hair. I, I hate shaving actually. This job has been a dream because I get to keep stubble. So I'm I haven't shaved in like maybe a, well, almost two years. Isn't shaving, is it shaving good for you, for your face? Uh, I don't know if it is or not. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm not a doctor, I don't know. <laughs> From Derek. What do you do on your day off? What do I do? Um, well, sometimes I do absolutely nothing. Um, <laughs> that's, that's fun. Um, I see my friends. I usually just use that day to spend with my boyfriend who I never get to see. Recently I've been shooting on my day off. Um, I went sailing recently. I feel like I'm giving a very Dina Lohan-esque interview, but I'm, really? I'm just tired. <laughs> yeah. what, what is a Dina Lohan? Because like you asked me a question and I just like laughed and like touched my hair and then like <laughs> acted like I was on pills or something. <laughs> but I'm oh, just yeah. really tired. Acted like you're on pills. <laughs> right. just oh, I also take prescription meds before the <laughs> before the show. That's my pre-show snack. Vicodin. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Okay. What? Did uh, I answer it? Oh yeah, you answered <laughs> you it. See, that's what I'm talking about. Sorry. And now you have to be like my little Wait, tie did you and my it? little shoes, <laughs> like Dr. Phil. <laughs> I don't know. What was it? This has gone off the rails. Oh, that's the next one. I wasn't supposed to see what it. What do you do on your day oh, off? Oh yeah, I, sh I said I went sailing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is from Ann. <laughs> um, what's your bedtime routine? Uh, I um, we usually watch The Daily Show and The Colbert Report. Uh, and then I'll have some sort of like snack kind of thing. Um, like uh, recently it's been uh, these little great, uh, at Whole Foods they have these little chocolate covered frozen bananas. Ooh. Yeah, they're ben called banana babies and they're only like that big. So they're, you know, like, like 60 calories or something. Wow. But it's a really nice snack before bed. Uh, and then I'll usually get in bed and read a little bit. Or uh, I have a couple of like meditation apps on my iPhone that like will put you to sleep. So I like click, oh man. How does that work? Deep, deep sleep, you put I'm that, telling you. You're not supposed to look at electronics before you sleep? No, 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 sleep. you put it on, I put it on my uh, home dock, or you know? Or it makes like whale sounds. And the guy talks to you, he's Scottish, and he's like, hello, this is Andrew Johnson. <laughs> and then he puts you to sleep. <laughs> it's amazing. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so that's my bedtime routine. From Stephanie. Do you have a hidden talent? And if so, what is it? Stephanie, I don't. I don't think I do. <laughs> you're just staring at me, you're like dead behind the eyes. Um, I. You don't have a hidden talent? I mean, no. I, I mean, it used to be singing. <laughs> that was one. That's that, a, the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> the cat is um, out of the bag, yeah. officially. Um, like a hidden ta I don't think so. Can't juggle? No. I have terrible hand-eye coordination. I fall on our stage <laughs> once a week. That's true. It's I do pretty fall regular. A lot. Um, just like Dina Lohan. Um, um, wow, we have figured something know, out today. I know, yeah, right. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know if I have a hidden talent. I can do. I can do like voices. You do great voices, actually. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> I can do like Kermit, and I can do Bjork. Um, Could we get a little Kermit right nope. now? Nope, <laughs> not absolutely not. Or else it wouldn't be hidden. Oh, but when you do Bjork, you do a great Bjork. No, because what if I do it and and everyone's like, oh my god, that's a terrible oh. Bjork. All right. And then. <laughs> Pretty That's good. like when if someone at a party is like, do that thing that you did right. on Saturday. It was hilarious. Right. And, and then you never, do it and no one laughs. It's good. That's true. All right. Thanks Great. for the questions. Thank you. And make sure you come and see us uh, in Once, now playing at the Bernard B. Jacobs Theater on 45th Street between Broadway and 8th. Come check us out. At 8 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., <laughs> and 7, 7 p.m. You <laughs> choose the day. Every day but Monday. It's true. Yeah. All we right, won't cool. be there on Mondays. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye.